Thank you for vis visiting our site, uh, dealer-made.com. Um, I would like to present a buy here, pay here section of our system. Um, here's our uh, website and the phone numbers to contact us. Uh, let me open the program from the very beginning. We'll go to dealer made icon, click here to start, enter the username and the password. This is the deal screen. We can recall existing deal to make it easier and faster. Uh, let's uh, enter the down payment. We can calculate the percent, uh, enter percentage and calculate the amount of down payment, source of down payment, etc. The payment is calculated automatically. We can perform rollback functions to roll it back to the even amount. Roll it to the term, price, down payment, trade, interest, and so forth. Now we have to check mark the box at the bottom right of our screen to indicate that this is the buy here, pay here deal. We can check quick profit hidden here by clicking this button. Then we can go to review, print, email, or fax. Click on recap to check uh, our gross profit. Click continue with commissions. We can perform commission uh, calculations here on the screen or simply move uh, to transfer this deal to buy here, pay here section. It will automatically assign next account number in sequential order or you can manually enter account number yourself. Click transfer to in-house. It's done. Then let's open the buy here, pay here section. Uh, this is the list of our accounts. We can simply select the uh, existing account. This is the account that we just entered into the buy here, pay here. This is the uh, uh, dashboard of the account. Let's recall uh, an existing account with uh, some payment history. Uh, this note section can be part of the uh, account and will display on reports as well. So we can make various uh, notes here. Late account three times and save it. Uh, we can uh, uh, enter payments, view the payment history as you can see here. Let's take a look at the account that has a little more information. Here we go. So as you can see, every payment, uh, every transaction is recorded and entered into the account. It becomes permanent part of the account history. Uh, so nobody can delete or edit uh, information without uh, uh, owner administrator noticing the changes. So as you can see, payment is uh, uh, broken down into the uh, main principal, interest, late fees, adjustments, and everything is a part of the account. We can receive a new payment, clicking on the Receive button. We can enter the payment. This is the regular payment which is due as of today. We can enter any payment a lot, uh, amount we like. Uh, select the payment method of check, check number. This information will post to QuickBooks if you purchase a QuickBooks accounting interface. Regular payment. You can make notes on the fly. Ah, description of the payment, I'm sorry. Or notes on the fly. On time. We can add the late fee manually or the system will, do that, uh, will, will calculate it automatically if we set this up in the default section. Then we simply click OK. And then we can go to the receipt section. We can stay in this account and uh, print as many copies of the receipt as we need to. Here as we click on Review screen, and here's our receipt. Typical. You can modify any letter or form in the system um, using our form generator and report generator. Uh, we have various reports 
in the system. Reports can be also modified, as I mentioned before. Uh, most typical late fee reports or adjustments. Um, income details. Days late report is very important. As I mentioned before in the part one section, we uh, can do lease here, pay here, and buy here, pay here, and rent to own. It's very important to know. Okay, we can jump to the next page or to the last page, and this is the summary of our report. We also have uh, a collection module where we can track track all the accounts. Every user has its own login credentials and they can be changed by administrator with a level 6 which is the highest level of the access um, allows uh, administrator to perform any action without restrictions. Uh, this is the accounts that are due as of uh, specific date we specify. Let's go back in time and uh, let's say um, put 15th of September. Click OK. And this is every account that was due or past due on this specific date, September 15th, 2011. We can click on any account. We can create letters. Again, you can modify the letters as you like here. This text can be changed or edited at any time. It's very convenient. We click on Review, and this is what the uh, regular, typical uh, letter looks like. Let's go back to the uh, Buy Here, Pay Here section. So we can make adjustments to the payments, uh, debit and credit, which happens all the time, change the status of the accounting ac account, it calculates rule of se uh, rule of 78 or a simple interest early payoffs uh, and the system is very flexible and user friendly thank you very much if you have any questions call us at 310-858-0725